back to my channel and I have a very, 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 very special video for you today. <laughs> okay, so today's video is about something that we all like, but I do want to give a disclaimer before we get into it. I, I know you see by the title, things to know before getting a tattoo. This does not apply for people who strictly get tattoos for the love of tattoo art. I have many friends and I, I love seeing it. It is beautiful that, you know, all their tattoos don't mean a thing to them, but it is something that they really do appreciate the look of it. They appreciate the look of the art. And they sometimes they just get some in the spur of the moment. But this is for people who who are just starting to get tattoos and they're like, I want to get on. I want all my tattoos to mean something to me and I want to make sure I do not get the wrong tattoo. So this is a piece of advice. What makes me an expert, you say? I am not an expert, first of all. So, let's just start there. I'm not an expert. These are strictly the things I have learned and strictly the things I have observed from having many friends with tattoos. And myself, I have about seven tattoos. So, and I also have, have done plenty of research, which you should do too. Don't just watch this video, but watch a lot of videos about things to know about tattoos and a whole bunch. And then we're just going to discuss all of it here. Because I really do think it's important. If you watch my vlogs, you see I had a friend who wanted to get a tattoo. And I was really like badgering. I was on her about it. Because I think that it, this is my opinion. This is strictly about um, my preference in tattoos. I think tattoos are very important because it is permanent. So let's all just think about that. Okay? So uh, spending time thinking about it. Considering placement. Thinking about actual meaning researching the artist yes i have a list here so don't mind me you get what you pay for and actually getting the tattoo the actual uh process so let's start by spending time to think about it um a lot of people do get tattoos spur of the moment um when i say that some people literally just walk into the shop go through their little flip book and then choose something here if you want to do that so be it but if you are here then clearly you don't want to do that so Let's talk about what I mean by spending time. So make sure a tattoo is actually something you want. I understand a lot of people like getting tattoos for a trend. They see a certain tattoo everywhere. They think it's beautiful. They think it's pretty and they want it. Uh, for example, you would go on Instagram and you'll see the latest Tumblr. Or, or go, on to, go on Instagram and see Tumblr. Or go on Tumblr and see a tattoo and you're like, this is so pretty, I want it. And then everybody in the world has dream catchers. Or... Everybody in the world has tiger stripes, tiger, tiger, stri tiger stripes, whoa, what is wrong with my mouth? But did you really want that? Come on, really think about it. Did you really want it? And on my very first tattoo, I knew I wanted a tattoo. I wasn't sure on what I, what I wanted to get. So I, was, I spent a lot of time thinking about what I wanted to get. Don't follow a trend. That's the main thing I can say. And always make sure that your tattoo is unique. And when I say this, I don't mean go out on Google and type in unique tattoos or type in something that you like and if you see something i didn't see a thousand people post this on instagram that means nothing these tattoos are on your body they should be unique to you and when i say that i sh i mean it 100 percent. now are all my tattoos unique to me about 80 percent of them are i have made i have one tattoo which is a quote which i'm pretty sure somebody else has if they love that movie I have another tattoo, which is, um, it's someone's album's name, but it's actually, it describes me really, really well, which I appreciated that, and I'm sure someone, if they like that artist, they got that same thing. And there's another one, which was a picture I saw, um, that has a very deep meaning that you would really have to look at it to understand, and I'm pretty sure, and I actually met someone with that same tattoo, but it wasn't the same, exactly the same as mine, but... When I say unique to you, if you have to draw it yourself, if you have to put your initial on it, just a certain thing. There are many things that you can do to make that tattoo unique to yourself. If I wanted to put into words, I would say think of it this way. You want to be the only person in the world with that tattoo. So think of it that way. I don't want to walk down the street. I don't want to go to Europe. I don't want to go to Texas. I don't know. Wherever you are, I don't want to go there. And I meet someone with the same exact tattoo on me because they just so happen to run across the same image on Google, Tumblr, whatever. And do not follow the trend. I cannot stress that enough. If you see someone on TV with tiger scratches and 
cheetah marks inside of it don't go out and get tiger scratches and cheetah marks yes it's pretty yes it's cute but it is their idea they got it tattooed i understand you'll never meet them in a day in your life in the world but then as you can see it's a trend and now 15 other people are walking around with tiger scratches and cheetah marks in it and we don't want that wow. Now, strongly consider the placement of your tattoo. I cannot express this enough. Depending on your career, if you want to be a singer, if you want to be a dancer, if you want to be a YouTuber, feel free to do whatever the hell you want with your body. Put a tattoo on your face, put thug life on your chest, whatever you want to do, go ahead and do it. But if you are in a certain field, such as I'm in a luxury retail field, I cannot have certain tattoos that are in certain places. So, for example, consider... Here's, consider the body part, consider the coverage, and consider the growth. And you're going to understand what I mean by growth. When I say consider the body part, I have seen so many people get under boob tattoos, and they have these huge boobs. I will never get an under boob tattoo, because I know I have boobs, and I have natural boobs, so they're never going to sit up completely all the time. Um, I've seen people that get it, and they have these humongous boobs, and it does not look right. And there's other things that you know your body. You know what looks right. So don't think you see Rihanna's body and you're like, her body's bomb. She has little tiny boobs. That tattoo looks amazing, especially with things she wears. Don't, you're not that person. So always try to remember that you are not this person. Um, that's their idea. They got it because they know their body. So know your body. Consider what your body is. And, you know, don't put some, don't put a tattoo on behind your ear if you have humongous ears you know certain things you know what parts of your body look good and you know which one accentuate and that's what we use art to do when i say coverage coverage means like i was saying if you work in a certain field you want a tattoo that you can cover up my hardest tattoo to cover up believe it or not i have one on the back of my neck but since i have here people don't really notice it but i have a tattoo here on my forearm and I always have to wear sleeves that are up to here. Sometimes I let it slip out a little bit because you can't help it. But you would definitely want to consider coverage. So if you know for a fact that you love um, sleeveless shirts, try not to get stuff on your arms if you want to work in a certain profession. Um, if you know that you want to be uh, a lawyer or just certain things. You, you know what I'm talking about. These serious professional jobs that frown upon people with multiple tattoos or something crazy for example if you want a giant phoenix or something like that don't get it on your lower back and you're a teacher and you know for a fact that some of your shirts can't be tucked in like it's, it's things like that where you really do genuinely want to consider um and when i say growth people always think when i tell them what about the growth in that area i'm not saying that you're gonna get fat but we're women for example we get pregnant. So I've seen people that get tattoos on their stomach, get tattoos on their butt that lead to their thigh. And sweetheart, unless you are a grown a woman and you are done growing, which I doubt you're not because God forbid you get pregnant. And I say God forbid because I don't want kids. But if you get pregnant, that butterfly on your stomach is going to turn into a bat. Okay? Those flowers on your butt are going to die. You know, that, that that infinity sign on your boobs are going to last an eternity. Like, it, it's just, consider where uh, where on your body's going to grow. And I'm 20, so I know for a fact that I'm still growing. I'm not done growing because I see growth in my body every single day. And it could be just from food or it could be because I'm get, turning into a woman. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's the food. I, whatever. But consider what part of your body's going to grow. Because certain things, the tattoo will change. And this is permanent, so you don't want to be, oh, oh, not just that with growth. Some people wrinkle. A lot of people wrinkle. Your body wrinkles. Things don't sit up in the places they used to when you're older. So trust and best believe, if your tattoo's on that skin, that's that tattoo's on that floor. Because that's where the skin's going to be. So it's just a lot to consider. Things will sag and things will hang and you really, really, really want to consider these things because it is permanent, people. And people are like, oh, there's tattoo removal. I'm sorry, but don't consider that because unless you are born, raised, and forever will be rich, don't, don't think that, you know, my future, when I'm sitting at a job, you don't know what's going to happen in life. 
you might not even get that job because of that tattoo. So come on, let, let's just think about these things. Think about the actual meaning of your tattoo. I can't express to you how many people get tattoos that could be misconstrued and actually offensive to other people. So yes, you don't want to get a tattoo that is very offensive. I know a lot of people like to get things in different languages, as do I. My tattoo here is in different languages. It's in three different languages. I made sure I had someone from each of those origins translated for me. But you don't want to get something in Arabic and then someone who actually understands the language comes and read it and you're telling them to go F off or something. You don't want that. So always make sure you actually consider, consider the real meaning of your tattoo. And I know a lot of people like to get, you know, the, the, those elephants from that uh, that one religion tattooed on them or the Hamza, Hamza hand, things like that. You have to understand that these are people's cultures and these are things that relate to their religion. So some people do get very offended when they see that you got it tattooed and they ask you why or, you know, do you understand what this means? And you don't, they get offended. And a lot of people do say, you know, this is my body, I can get whatever I want. Understandable, but f think about how stupid you're going to feel if somebody says, what, it, what does that mean? Or where did that originate? Or what's the history behind that? And you have no freaking clue you're gonna feel pretty damn dumb like you're one of those idiots that get things you know gets a gucci sign in between their eyebrows and when i say misconstrued i always want to you know i cannot help but stress the fact that you need to understand what certain tattoos can be misconstrued for example if you get someone's name and i see that or I know there's a lot of people, if they see that you have someone's name tattooed on you, the first thing they think, God forbid, is death. I would think that you got someone's name tattooed for death. And even with that, I don't think that people who pass away, you should get their name tattooed. I feel like you should get something more symbolic. So if, if there's a, like a certain saying that they always said or things like that, because I feel like you are always going to remember their name. You're never going to forget that person's name. So getting it tattooed is pretty pointless. And that's my opinion. But, again, if you love your mother so much, you're just like, I want a tattoo, I'm going to get her name, don't. Because if, if I see it, if anybody else sees it, they're going to think she passed away. And that's not necessarily what you want. You're going to have to explain that. And, it's gonna you, again, you're going to feel pretty damn dumb. Um, and also, think about certain things. I know a lot of people who love getting, like, stars. And a lot of people want to get these five-point stars tattooed. But if you didn't know, a lot of these things are related to gangs. And it, it could be the simplest thing, and a gang probably claimed it, you know? Um, so really think about, you know, what you're getting. Uh, if it's something that you thought about and it means something to you, then you, you're, you're for sure, you know that, you know, my mother was in love with stars, she passed away, and I knew the one thing that she remembered were stars. Go ahead and get those stars, screw whatever the gang has to say. But... If you want it for, you know, pretty and you, you just so happen to want four stars or something, if you know gangs, you like represent some one of those gangs and you don't want to get that because you don't want to be initiated into the gang accidentally. The main thing, and me and my friend were going over this, like we were like, whoo, going over it. Research your artist. Do not go to just any artist. Your homeboy may do tattoos. Let him do his tattoo. You know, he's been doing it for two months. Let him work on it a little longer. Do not sit there and say, my homeboy does tattoos. I'm going to let him tap my body. Because you're going to be pissed off. Don't ever let nobody do it. Sit there and say, oh, uh, I, I want to do it for my portfolio. You could get a free tattoo. If you're like me, research this artist. Everyone has an Instagram page nowadays, so there's no way that you can say, I've never seen his work. So, let's just put it out there. And if they don't have an Instagram page or a web page, don't go to them. Don't. Because this is how you promote yourself. This is how you get people to see your work. Unless you're an ex extremely exclusive tattoo artist, which I highly doubt. Because people that do Rihanna tattoos and so on and so forth, Justin Bieber, Cara Delevingne, that guy has an Instagram. So... There's no excuse for you not to have an Instagram so that I can see your work before I come in or before I book an appointment with you. You want to always know their specialty. Each tattoo artist have a spe has a spe specialty. Oh my god! Each tattoo artist always has a specialty. Um, whether it be they really do portraits really well or, or that person could do abstract tattoos really well or their visuals like a 
drawing pictures and characters could be bomb or their writing their hand could be super steady so always know their specialty know what they do well and if you want to get someone's face tattooed on you try to find a because that's the most difficult in my opinion to do um, and to actually get accurate, and it's very important that they do get it accurate because it's someone's face, try to find someone the, who that is their specialty, who does multiple a day, multiple a week, multiple a year. It, just, it will help you in the long run. You get what you pay for, and I mean that literally. Now, I'm going to use myself an ex as an example. When I first got my tattoo, I was 17, and I don't regret the tattoo because it is down, it's me to a T. Um, I got two from the same artist, however, that artist is way better now. And if I say that and you understand what I mean, when I first went to him, he wasn't the best he could ever be, but he had great prices and he had decent work. Not decent, he had good work. Now he has great work. You see where I'm going? So now there's certain things on my tattoo that I want touched up, like certain details on, you know, the birds I have and just little things like that where I feel like if I had pay a little more, I would have got that. But I was 17, I didn't have the jobs I have now, and I had, you know, much less lower paying jobs then. And I wanted to get something I could afford, but that was also good. And he was very clean, very healthy, things like that. Certain things, like small things. But if I had paid a little more, his prices are way higher, probably higher now. I, I don't know, I never checked in, but his prices are probably higher now that he does way better work. So you do get what you pay for. Do not be upset if you go and you pay $20 for a very detailed lion and you get a little tiny cat. It's going to happen. That's your fault. You knew $20. Sounded a little sketchy. If your homeboy's saying, I'll do it for $20, go ahead and let your homeboy do it. Go ahead and let your homeboy do it. Your little koi fish is going to look like a shark. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Just letting you know. Now we're going to get to the part where it is, it's very inform it's like informative. Thank you. Thank you, Shania, because you were a big dummy two seconds ago. It's very informative because I'm letting you know the tattoo process. Anyone who's never been to a tattoo shop, seen someone get a tattoo, or someone who literally just wants to go get a tattoo, this is what you need to make sure of. And this is the most important part because you're actually going to be getting the tattoo. Congratulations. Make sure you do not drink. I know a lot of men, and I say men because I never heard of a woman doing it, who take shots before they go just to numb the pain. You know what this does is very irritating to the artist because it increases your bleeding. Alcohol thins your blood, making it a lot easier for it to escape through the skin. It increases your bleeding, makes it very hard for the artist to, you know, focus on the work because there's so much blood coming out of you. Um, it, it, it messes up the needle, it, it affects the ink. It's just very difficult, so please do not go drunk. Try, if you go drunk, and just like give me something get it but get something small because if you try to get a mural on your back while you're drunk there's gonna be so much blood and it's not gonna look as great as it can look if you had put down the alcohol so tat responsibly um there's a lot of health concerns that you need to worry about when it comes to tattoos i know if you want to see what a, a infected tattoo looks like go ahead and google it i'm not going to insert that into the video it's just way too disgusting um please make sure that you see them use new utensils i have watched videos i've seen reviews where people say that the artist didn't change the needles or the artist um used the ink over because they didn't want to waste the ink so they just kept the cup it still had more ink in it certain things like that make sure that you see them change their gloves make sure that you see them wipe down that seat you don't know what ass has been sitting on there sweating there's just so much make sure anything that is concerning you health wise make sure you see them do it Let's just be more sanitary, be very careful. You do not want an infected tattoo. That is the hardest thing to cure. I do not know from experience, but I know from stories and I know from research. Research will take you a long way. Long way. Um, something that many people don't tell a lot of people, but shave. Yes, they shave for you if it's your arm, if it's your back, maybe even your leg. But if you're getting a tattoo here, here, here and you know shave this shave your underarms please it's just it's just for your health concern not health concerns but it's just hygiene 
So let's make the tattoo artist a little less uncomfortable and let's just have a clean deodorant shaved pit. And if you're getting a tattoo in your tramp stamp area, you know where to shave. Let's, let's just, 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 you know, if you were doing a tattoo that close to your friend, would you want it to be popping in your face? No. So let's think about hygiene. A lot of people forget that when it comes to tattoos. They get there and like, oh, crap, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm hairy. And you're just, what can you do at that point? Nothing. But put it in his face. So let's, let's just think about that. And the last thing I can say is please understand the healing process. Tattoos, depending on how big or how small, do take time to heal. And the process, you can find this on Google or wherever else you want to research. I'm going to briefly skim over it. But you need to be keeping it moist. Do not let it get dry and it will start peeling. And do not peel it when it peels. Like they say, don't pop a pimple. Don't peel a tattoo. Let it naturally peel. You peel it, it affects the way that the ink settles inside your skin. And you could get a certain patch. I've gotten a little one before because I didn't mean to peel it, but I had, you know, I forgot it was there. And I itched it and it took off like a patch. Now that patch is, the, the color is way lighter than the rest of the letters. Um, but, you know, understand that it peels. Understand that it takes time for, even after the healing, it's not 100% done. It still really does need to settle in and, you know... Like, just, you know, adapt to your skin, pretty much. So please do not trouble it. Make sure you keep it moist. And understand this process. A lot of people will get a tattoo. Artists did everything fine. It's you that affected it. And they'll be pissed if it ends up being infected or ends up the color is not as strong as it can be because people don't understand the process and they go and they screw with it or not take care of it properly. And you're unhappy at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, we want you to be happy. The artist wants you to be happy. I want you to be happy after this video. So let's just let's just work for each other's happiness here. You know? Um, and that's all I really have to say about getting tattoos. You know, health hygiene, knowing the artist, understanding why you're getting the tattoo, understanding if it's personal to you not following trends, knowing your body and where this tattoo is going to go and what it's going to look like in that place. If you're getting a huge tattoo, don't put it on like your chest here because it's all up here. Understand what job you're going for, understand your future. A tattoo is a big deal. It is permanent. So let's really do consider these things I mentioned because I'm not here to judge. And again, disclaimer, if you are one who loves tattoos, like for example, Kehlani, she loves tattoos. You can see she is tatted up and I think it looks beautiful. It's her own form of art. So this will not apply to her. But these are, this is for people who don't have tattoos, want to start getting a tattoo, start off with a tattoo. And they know for a fact they don't want to be tatted up like Kehlani, but they do want to get some meaningful tattoos. So... These are things you should know. And I really do hope this video was helpful to you. I hope you really thought about, you know, what you're going to do about your tattoo choice now. And I hope my tattoos really, you like them. <laughs> I don't know what to say about them. I, they're on my body now, so I don't really, <laughs> you know. But I really do hope this helped. And good luck with your tattoos. If you get them, DM them to me. Follow my Instagram or Snapchat. Send me a snap of them. And let me know if this video is what, you know, kind of helped you get it. And I would really love to see it. So I'll snap back. I'll DM back. But thank you so much for watching my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.